We don't bring those kind of sacrifices. We bring ourselves. Paul used that in Corinthians. He said, uh, uh, how did he say that? Is that the 14th chapter? Or when he said, uh, no, it's the 12th chapter of Romans, I believe. Uh, I, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. So when a minister walks up here, he's, he's bringing his sacrifice where it's a goat or whatever he's got. He's bringing it up here. Now we're going to watch to see if the Lord accepts that sacrifice. If he don't, take him back in time. Put him back in the pasture. Maybe tomorrow the Lord will accept him. There's just a lot of things. I don't want to take time to go into it, but it helps a preacher in a meeting like this because I've had preachers say, no, nah. he said, if you don't get up and announce me, I'm not going to preach. I said, well, just sit there then. You're not going to get me in trouble. If you get up there and miss it, they'll all blame me. I said, if you get up on your own, I'm not blamed. That's you. If you miss it, you, you'll... And the good thing about these people are put on charity. They'll listen. They'll raise their hand. They'll say, God bless you. It don't always mean that you're preaching what they believe. They're just hoping that you will. Charity believes all things, Brother Atwell said Sunday. It believes that you may be off, but you may get on if you keep going. And uh, charity hopeth all things. We hope if you're wrong, you get right. And we're saying, God bless you. That means help him, Lord. He needs it. <laughs> so uh, it's an interesting place to be. One of the most educational places in this whole earth is in meetings like this with open forum, open pulpit, and uh, we don't want to scare you or frighten you, but we do want you to know how we operate. There's a few little secrets we've got that makes this work. There's a government here that you won't, you may not ever see it, but you may feel it. I've had uh, preachers to get up, Pentecostal preachers from out in Pentecost, get up and they felt bound and they'd say everybody help me let's let's drive the devil out said he got me bound <laughs> and, and, and uh, so he wants to rebuke the devil even they said open them doors now we're going to drive the devil out and because uh, they felt bound they thought it was the devil there buying them as the lord all the time we didn't want to run the lord off so we just pray this will be a profitable day <laughs>